um, maybe you can uh, completely express your feeling about the letter to be the new character. Well, I'm Sorry, this is uh, following the line of very uh, distinguished and uh, able uh, chairpersons, notably my predecessor, Philip Dykes. Um, it's um, a difficult time for the bar. It's a difficult time for the rule of law in Hong Kong at the moment. I am a deeply committed rule of law person. That means that on the one hand, I don't like violent demonstrators. On the other hand, I don't like authorities that abuse their power. I will be trying, in my turn, to strengthen the rule of law any way I can. I am particularly concerned about some of the provisions of the National Security Law, particularly the one that says that certain officials are above the law, that they shan't be challenged in any form. Uh, we should remember that at the moment a lot of countries have suspended extradition agreements with Hong Kong, which means that someone like a murderer can avoid justice by moving from London to Hong Kong or Hong Kong to London. And when we get over this terrible COVID epidemic, movement's going to get a lot easier. I think that's a situation that nobody in Hong Kong wants. I hope to explore whether there is any chance of getting the government to agree some modifications to that national security law that will enable extradition arrangements to be reinstated. I don't know if that would be possible, but that's what I'm going to work towards. Can you briefly explain your uh, feeling in Cantonese one more? Um, uh, I am very concerned Hi, Morge Dongji, Sensi Bowu, Hong Kong Gejiao, Oi, Oi, Jun Le, Om Jido, Hugo, Oi Shingo. You mentioned there are certain provisions in the NSL you want to amend. Can you elaborate which? Uh, which provisions you would like to amend? Uh, the uh, provision that says that uh, there are two provisions that say that two different groups of uh, officials should be above the law. Also, the provision that allows Article 55 that allows people to be uh, taken to the mainland out of the, the jurisdiction. Uh, the basic law guarantees that Hong Kong people have access to the courts. All three uh, provisions. Uh, that I've referred to seem to me to uh, be in breach of that Article 35. Uh, there's also a provision that there shall be no jury trial for national security cases, but the basic law says that there shall be jury trial for serious cases, and these uh, national security offences carry a maximum of life imprisonment. Um, in addition, the regulations made under Article 43 um, empower the police to question people about their um, about their political opinions with criminal penalties including substantial imprisonment if they don't comply they're modeled on provisions to deal with organized and serious crime but asking questions about uh, something like fraud is quite different from asking someone what they believe about such subjects as uh, uh, the communist party or uh, uh, Hong Kong status as a special region, this is, uh, in my view, absolutely in breach of the protection of freedom of conscience in the basic law. So those are the most important ones. There are a few others. Uh, I have actually done a study of this, and uh, uh, this is fairly widely available. Uh, it's an article-by-article article, uh, analysis of the provisions. Um, uh, some, some of them comply, no, some of them no problem, some of them it depends how the courts interpret them, some of them, in my view, uh, cannot be consistent, and they're the ones that I will uh, do my utmost to persuade the government need to be modified. Mr.
repair is that can we trouble you on the, the good case of the uh, repair repair he's put out of the uh, one of the trial uh, of course I understand you are supposedly involved in that speaking generally do you think it's a sort of concern as the secretary of the justice the is pressed can you look at the camera can you step round here if I'm still looking for the camera while okay, talking no, to no, you just, just basically do you have any thoughts uh, to share one uh, the, uh, this is a very complicated situation and I don't think I can say very much sensibly uh, at this point. Um, th and as uh, you rightly said, asking me, I'm particularly awkwardly placed because I would have been his opponent if he'd come. Uh, I, on a personal level, I was looking forward to meeting him. He's a very able advocate. It's always nice to have an opponent uh, as a barrister who's able. Um, the Bar Council has not yet had a chance to consider this case, so I can't say anything on behalf of the Bar Council. My only personal comment would be that um, my understanding is that the quarantine issue played a bigger part than the media have been mentioning, uh, and th that is a very important issue, uh, because getting from the UK to England at the moment requires 42 days of first 21 out of the UK and then 21 quarantine in Hong Kong and exempting somebody from quarantine to come and prosecute a case is very controversial because they may infect people and they it could be me if I'm in the same court so um, I think that is a big part of what's behind it as to the the broader issues I really can't comment on them now the Bar Council will be discussing them Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a new team. Um, Anita Yip has stayed on as one of the two vice chairs. Uh, Eric Shum will be the other. Johnny Ma will be the honorary secretary. Eugene Yim stays on as the deputy honorary secretary. And there are some changes to the membership as well. Let me tell you what the cab rank rule is. The cab rank rule is, it's the same in Hong Kong as in England. Is the, in, in, uh, in your jurisdiction, that means in Hong Kong, if you're a Hong Kong barrister, in England and Wales, if you're an English barrister, you're bound by the cab rank rule, which says that you have to take a case, whatever you think of the client. There are certain exceptions, but it's a very old established rule. The important thing to note is that this rule does not apply to overseas work. No one is obliged to go outside um, their own jurisdiction. Whether they do so uh, is a matter for them. And it's, it, it's not something that is under the control of the Bar Council in either country. And, uh, and it comes down to the decision of the individual barrister. I think there has been some misinformation on that. There's no cab rank rule that obliges anyone to come from England to Hong Kong or uh, any one jurisdiction to any other jurisdiction. Chairman, do you think the public still have a confidence in the judicial system? In the judicial system, yes. Uh, Hong Kong has some very good judges. I have been utterly appalled and disgusted at a number of attacks on the judges that I have seen in certain newspapers recently. Um, the judges cannot answer back. It's, it's the rules under which they operate. They don't enter into public controversy. So it's a particularly mean and uh, disgusting thing to make uh, allegations, groundless allegations about a judge. I saw an article recently suggesting a judge had made a decision because he was in league with one of the counsel in the case. This is a preposterous suggestion and it is uh, deeply offensive. I will do what I can by whatever method seems best to try and protect the independence of the judiciary and strengthen it wherever possible. And how do I must go now, I think. I've run out of time. There are people waiting to talk to me upstairs. But um, I will be... Uh, giving a number of interviews over the next few days, so some of you will, will get a chance to talk to me and, and go into more depth on some of these issues. No, I'm sorry, I have to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much. One Thank more you. So